Manzanas, the much feared chief of the San Sebastian security police, was entering this house when he was gunned down by unknown assailants. His murder led to a massive police hunt in which hundreds of Basques were arrested and imprisoned. A three month state of emergency was declared and the banditry law restored under which so called crimes of rebellion could be tried by court martial. The trial has provoked the biggest outburst of political agitation in Spain since the end of the Civil War. In Madrid, repeated clashes between students and police have resulted in the closure of the university and there have been other large-scale demonstrations in Barcelona and Bilbao in direct defiance of police warnings. The church, too, is very much involved in the trial. Two of the accused are priests, charged with sheltering Basque terrorists during a police search. If found guilty, they could get jail sentences totaling 70 years. Their superior, Bishop Thirada of Bilbao, has conducted long negotiations with the Spanish government to ensure that the trial is held in public, but he failed to persuade the authorities to hold it before a civil instead of a military court. The bishop himself is known to be sympathetic to the Basque cause, although he condemns all forms of violence. About two million Basques live in a region of 20,000 square kilometers straddling the Franco-Spanish border. 10% of the area is French territory. No one really knows where the Basques come from. It's possible they arrived thousands of years ago from southern Russia. They've managed to preserve their own culture and language, which has little in common with any other language except perhaps Japanese. They claim they're the victims of Spanish repression and that left to themselves, they would create a viable Basque state. Certainly Bilbao, which has a considerable Basque majority, is one of the most prosperous cities in Spain and is a major center for industrial development under the current economic plan. Besides its steelworks and manufacturing plants, it's the largest and busiest port in Spain. The Basques are quick to point out that their four provinces make a contribution to Spain's national wealth quite out of proportion to their size. There's no question of a Basque state not being viable, they say. It's quite the reverse. Spain would be much less viable without them. In the remoter country areas, Basque traditions are even more deeply entrenched in sleepy looking villages like this one at the foot of the Pyrenees. And it's often from these villages too that the freedom right. fighters organize their training and target practice. But if you want to talk to any of the Basque leaders, you must cross over the frontier into France. and make for the small town of Saint-Jean-de-Luz. This smart coastal resort is the headquarters of ETA, the liberation movement, and its streets are daubed with Basque nationalist slogans. ETA stands for Euskadi Ta Askatasuna, meaning Basque Nation and Freedom. ETA is the most militant and revolutionary of all the freedom groups, and it's responsible for most of the shootings that have occurred. It has a house in the town which is used for harboring refugees who cross the frontier illegally. It was here that we met one of Etta's leaders. Could you ask the gentleman for me, please, what are the aims of Etta? Galicia de su aves en surdien Etta el burro. 
lehenbiziko alburua Euskal Herriaren askatasuna da. The first aim is to liberate Euskadi, his country. Horretaz, Euskal Herria, Frantzia eta Espainiaren mendean alienatua da. Because Euskadi is alienated by France and by Spain. Euskadi is, is he doing here, in what we call France, for the people of Spain? Zu zeite naizea hemen, Espainiko jendian txat. Gure problema ez da Espainiako jendian problema soluzionatzea, baizik Euskal Herrikoa baizik. It's not his problem to solution it what happens with Spanish people, but he wants to solution it Basque people problem. Gu ez gara espanolak, Euskalduna baizik. He's not Spaniard, he's Basque. Horretaz, Espainiai azaldu gure problema eta benetako gizonak elduko dira eta ulertuko dute gure benetako gura. He wants to show to Spain what is the Basque problem and then we will become men. Then we will become though, a terrorist organization. Will ETA use guns to liberate Euskadi? ETA da terrorista? ETA empleatuko du fusilak? ETA da terrorista. Euskal Herriak edu bildurrik ETAren terrorismoari. Baizik, Espainiako guadazubile polizian eta gobernuan errepresioa. ETA is not terrorist. The people, vast people, has no fear of terrorism from ETA. Basque people has fear of terrorism of Spain and the Guardia Civil Spaniel. Why are the Basque people in Spain frightened of the Guardia Civil and not of ETA? Zatikan Euskaldunak dute bildura Guardia Civilari eta ez ETA-ri. ETA Euskal Herriari zerbitzeko galako eta Guardia Civilak Euskal Herria ilitzeko ETA to serve Basque people. And Guardia Civil is made to kill Basque people. So that if the Guardia Civil, in your opinion, would kill Basque people, would you kill in return? Guardia Civil ak ilce maldi malu euskel erria etak ingo du gauza bera? Gu beti kerabiko digu eurak erabilze duten armak. Eurak gortasunan ekintze madira, gu gorrauak izan behar gira. Eta will made what the others made. If they are strong, she will strong. They will meet force with force. What the others do, she will answer of the same. Force with force is a basic principle of ETA policy, and it often involves its members in skirmishes with the police. When the pace gets too hot, the ETA guerrillas take to the heavily wooded tracks in the mountains to make their escape. If the Basque problem is Franco's Vietnam, then this is the Ho Chi Minh Trail, along which flows a two-way traffic in refugees and supplies. This was how ten of the men who were due to stand trial in Spain were brought across the frontier after they'd escaped from Borgas jail. The new refugees have found the French attitude towards the Basques nothing like as repressive as in Spain. The Basque issue is freely and openly discussed, and although the French stop short of giving the exiles political asylum, they do eventually grant them French identification papers. Basque terrorists claim they killed the police chief in San Sebastian because they believed he was torturing his Basque prisoners. In Bilbao, Jose Echebarri... Yeah, uh, uh, that, uh, that, yeah. that was a... That was a... That was a... After the committee, the sentence. Yeah. That's the first one. And now if we could also have the answer to the uh, second question that I put to you. Could you uh, tell me the answer to that one? Yeah. Yeah. Enteramente, eh, tanto yo como todos mis compañeros de defensa compartimos esta ansiedad. Ciertamente, aunque al menos personalmente estoy totalmente convencido, especialmente respecto a la acusación de asesinato del policía Manzanas, aunque estoy totalmente convencido de la inocencia de mi defendido, el señor Izco, sin embargo, no podemos, claro es, prever el sentido que dite el Consejo de Guerra a su sentencia. Good, fine. The ruling of the military court will be important not only to those on trial. Only last week, an ETA splinter group kidnapped the West German consul in San Sebastian. 
and they say if death sentences are passed on the Basque defendants, he too will be killed. This latest move is unlikely to help the Basque cause, which has a good measure of sympathy both inside and outside Spain, but it indicates the growing frustration which some Basques feel about General Franco's treatment of their region, a frustration which seems increasingly likely to find its expression in more and more acts of violence. For ETA is run largely by dedicated young revolutionaries who are determined to continue their struggle until they're either wiped out or until their own flag flies over an independent Basque Republic.